Um, so today I'm going to show you exactly which WordPress plugins I use for SEO. Um, I pretty much install these plugins anytime I take over a new site, a new partnership, when I acquire a new business. So, but obviously before all that nonsense, we got to get the creatine going first. Um, Quick side note, have you guys seen that viral new AI girlfriend? Pretty insane, pretty insane. I think uh, definitely a net negative for the world, but uh, yeah, birth rates are gonna go way down from that, huh? Go heaping scoop. All right, let's go. Yesterday I made ten thousand three hundred dollars um fifty three hundred of that from amazon thirty nine hundred from mediavine about seven hundred forty from OnlyFans, uh hundred hundred fifty five from fan fuel and about ninety dollars from cell health As always just showing you how i got to that number for amazon i'm not going to show you mediavine uh, i just took uh five uh, 5.7 K divided by 105 multiplied by 98. And that's how we arrive at it. Um, quick note, clicks are dropping. Conversion rate is going up. I'm guessing due to seasonality. So kind of balances things out, but I think we are not clapped by the update, but we're definitely dinged. Um, so just letting you guys know, we'll keep you posted. I'm not seeing too much movement. I think we're doing like a 10% drop, I'm guessing. If, uh, Yeah, but that's only on one side. The other ones are strong. So it might be like a algo thing. All right, so uh, if there are people, I'm just trying, starting to get some comments asking like how many sites are on this, so on and so forth. I believe I've, I did an episode a week ago about a full breakdown on my margins. So you can go and check that video out if you have any questions regarding these earnings. All right, so without further ado, here are all the plugins that I use pretty much on every single site. And this is eight plugins. Um, maybe a bit bloated, but I think it should be fine. All right, uh, so first up we have Rank Math SEO. You can use Yoast, but um, I think Rank Math is just far superior. I use it personally for um, the like uh, instant indexing, they have that. Um, and their schema is great. Uh, also a better sitemap than Yoast. So if we want to take a look at how the sitemap is set up exactly is, um, they actually break it up for you into, I think like 200 posts per, yeah, 200 URLs per sitemap. Um, that helps with indexing. If you split it up, it's a lot better than having it all in one, which I think Yoast does, um, unless you're on the paid plan. So yeah. All right. Um, so next up we actually have Jetpack. You're probably going to laugh at this. Um, a lot of people probably don't know this. I don't check GA at all. I use Jetpack, which is freaking crazy, right? Um, because it has all the data I need. For example, I just typically I just go into the uh, day before and I check outbound link clicks. And that's like a huge metric that I follow. Um, and it's just GA4 is just so hard to use. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for a replacement for Jetpack, I think Clicky is pretty good, but not free. I just like that it's free. I can install it on like 100 sites and just monitor it across. Um, yeah, so I can have like a quick look at all my sites using Jetpack. And yeah, it's great. Well, I think it's great. What do you guys think? All right, next up we have the index, uh, in, instant indexing plugin by Rank Math. Um, this is by, remember, it's by Rank Math. Uh, it's, it uses the API that pretty much all the indexing tools use. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's free, which is the most important thing. I'm a cheap ass motherfucker, all right? Um, and as you can see here, I'm just showing you how it's set up. Um, you have to enter in your JSON uh, snippet that you get from, I believe it was Google Cloud. I did a couple, I did a video on this a couple of videos ago. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, 200 requests a day. I just sent to API. Um, there's an error because it already went through the max for the day, but um, yeah, it's super easy to use. It automatically updates every time you send a post in. So as you can see today, look, uh, it's already maxed out. I think <laughs> a thousand posts were published today and that's because of revive press. So as I mentioned before, rank math in instant indexing used in parallel with something like revive press, which 
republishes your articles um, periodically can, you know, it, this is arguable, but it can help you get a boost every time you republish, quote unquote. But yeah, um, we're coming out with a competitor to Revive Press, and the only difference between us and the Revive Press plugin is we're going to be using OpenAI to rewrite like parts of the article, so it's actually being rewritten because Revive Press is t- technically it's uh, against Google TOS, so you might get clapped. But I, I've been using this across all my sites for years, and we're, we're fine. But yeah, uh, stay tuned for the plugin. That shit should be coming out sometime next week. So make sure you subscribe to Marketing Letter down below and uh, you guys will be the first ones to know. I think we're going to give out 100 copies of like a really uh, cheap lifetime uh, subscription. Like super cheap. It'll be like a beta testing uh, subscription. So be sure to be subscribed and you guys will be the first to know. Before I touch on generate blocks and add and replace affiliate links for Amazon, I want to talk about code snippets, which pretty much is just an easier way to add um, code into your site. Um, Not much to say here. I just like it for the flexibility. I'm not a developer, so developers can probably do without it, but I, I add this on every single site. For example, one use case is I like to have the year snippet in the title for example best paint by number kits of 2023 uh yeah and that is actually a short code that i added let me show you well it's not here but um it should be so let me show you guys what it should look like bada bing bada boom and we should be good let's see what we look like yeah we're good and Pretty much that's that's all it does. And uh, WP Rocket, which I actually don't even have on this site. I use um, LS Cache or whatever, but uh, it's it's just a cache plugin. It speeds up your site. Um, I, I, I don't even know technically how a caching plugin works. It just speeds it up, all right? Um, anyways, for generate, press, uh, generate Blocks, what I use it for is for these like aesthetic-ass clicks, uh, buttons. And, you know, I, I'm... There are plugins or apps like Lasso or AAWP, which some may say is nice and clickable. I just don't like how it looks. Um, And I found that conversion rates, like you get more clicks if it's right underneath the image like this and without the title. Um, And also, side note, uh, you can have like just nicer, slightly nicer designs in Gutenberg with uh, Generate Blocks. All right. Um, last but certainly not least is the add and replace affiliate links for Amazon. Um, so if you guys ever purchased an ad, like a site that has Amazon affiliate links, um, a lot of the times they have these shortened form links and it's so annoying to replace them all. So all you have to do is you just click expand and it'll automatically expand from these type of links to like uh, long form links with uh, your their the tag. And then you can just update it using this plugin. Um, I think it's owned by Mushvik now. Well, yeah, it's. I think I know it's owned by Mushvik now. Uh, but yeah, great plugin, especially if you buy a lot of sites. This is the first thing I do. After I buy any site, I update the Amazon affiliate links. And then I install Revive Press. And I send that bitch through instant indexing right away. Um, those are like the steps I take every single time. All right, that's it for today, guys. Um... If you've watched up to here, can you just comment WordPress plugins for SEO, please? Just for the YouTube algorithm. Um, It's a Saturday. I went out drinking yesterday again. And, you know, for me to show up on a Saturday, on a Sunday, every single day for the last nearly two months now, we've made it. Um, Yeah, we just would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed to the YouTube channel. All right, that's it. And... I'm going to now go over some questions from the previous episode. So if you have any questions regarding today's episode, any comments, any suggestions for WordPress plugins that I should try, um, drop them in the comment section below and I'll address them in the next episode. All right, time for your questions. 12th end. Um, I got some businesses in my area I want to pitch for partnership. What, what affiliate content would you build out for these? Travel agents. Travel agents, come on, that's easy. I, I'm not even going to address that. It should just be a travel site. Hotel reviews, things to do in X. Um, what else? 
things to do in X, car rentals. These are all crazy ass niches. Uh, just do that. DR65 is nuts, by the way. You'll fucking kill it. Uh, local newspaper, DR65, you do everything. You can do anything on a local newspaper. You can do health. You can do um, health. You, you can do, sorry, health supplements. You can do home niche. You can do toys. You can do pets. You do it all. All right. Um, if you want me to actually do the keyword research, guys, uh, if I see enough comments in the YouTube section below, uh, like t- in this episode, I'll, I'll do like one, of, I'll, I'll do a couple of these on the tomorrow's episode. All right. So let me know if you guys want to see it and I'll be sure to do it. So thanks for your comment. 12th and, and you've been first two days in a row. All right. PR agency. Thank you. Thank you. Um, AK subs soon. I think, can we do it by January? Maybe, maybe if you guys, uh, spread the word. Yeah, let's get there. Corey says, appreciate the videos. Um, can you create a video on creating something like far and away? Uh, yeah, we could, but it's oh God, that, far and away. Like we did everything right. It was tough. Um, but yeah, I can talk about it if you want. Jackie, uh, thanks Ryan for the comment. If we run a local store and we sell an array of products like mattresses, appliances, etc., how should we target multiple categories for S local SEO? Um, so if you're doing like Matt, if you have a category page that you sell locally, for example, mattresses, just say, um, mattresses, uh, Vancouver, uh, kitchen aid or sorry, uh, kitchen aid refrigerator, Vancouver, shit like that. Um, your category should always include the, like the locality or the local suburb or city. All right. Thanks for the comments for PR agency. Hopefully we get it ranked. Um, Tiffany didn't come back and edit her comments. So how can I, how can I address it? How's it going guys? Appreciate the comments really gets me hyped up. Uh, I can already imagine five rankings in a row. Um, that's probably going to last like a month and then only big players remain. That's what I'm saying. But, uh, if you can't beat the big players, then you partner up with the big player and take them out. Hangover helper, take some electrolytes. I did. Um, feeling pretty good today. Thanks to you, I started using Outscraper and I'm cleaning up the data for import with W all import. A couple of directory questions. Sure. And love that you're taking action, guys. That's all I love want to hear. Do you include images? Yes. Or any other niche specific on the listing? Yes. How about user sign up and login, all that stuff? Finally. No, no, no logins. Um, finally, let's say for the page, best SEO company, Toronto, are you displaying archives or on page content linking to each listing? Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do it. We typically do it in a two-step process. So we don't display archives. For example, we don't display indexy SEO individual listings, but we, yeah, we dis- uh, we display these like best listicles, uh, in the beginning, if it ranks well, then we'll display like the agencies and try to rank for agency review keywords. But, um, for now during the proof of concept stage, we don't do that for partnership sites. Do we ask the owner site owner for a link to our affiliate blog from the homepage? Always guys, you gotta get that link equity. You gotta get that shit down. Um, the minimum I ask for is a footer link, uh, to that direct subdirectory. I did send you details, Thorsten. Yeah, I responded to you on Slack today. Let me know, man. I'm not sure. I asked you if it was your your tool. Uh, if it is, so be it. If it's better than Koala, I'll shill it. So let me know. Best places to find partnership sites. Locally, always. What's going on, Tristan? Uh, Rex for Amazon, uh, affiliate niches to look into for partnership sites. It really depends on the niche on the partner, right? And you have to sell it to them like so that you can go a bit broader. So most people will, they'll, they'll focus laser focus. Like, Oh, we're an interior design firm. We only want to talk about interior design, like color matching or some shit. No, they can do kitchen appliances. All right. They can, they just don't want to, but you have to sell them on that. Um, PR hustle, uh, PR agency hustle is genius. Um, I was thinking of another idea. I want to talk about like an ORM agency. Shit's easy as fuck to do. If you guys want me to talk about it, let me know. Um, PR agency. Let's go Ed, Ed, Edward. Um, you've been showing up every day as well. What do you think of creating Google service ads for local service providers and charging them a monthly fee to manage fucking genius local service ads is the easiest thing ever. You just turn it on for people. 
and it's a net benefit to them. So it's simply just turning on the ads and running like an, a set amount of spend. Shit's easy as fuck. Everyone should be doing that. Business owners aren't doing it. You should be doing it. It's a no-brainer. Um, you just have to sell. All right, so go out and start dialing or start emailing. Start walking in and chatting with them. Uh, final question, James asks, what ranking uh, tracking software are you using? I'm using Nightwatch currently. I use keyword.com plus SerpWatch and Ahrefs. Um, yeah, SerpWatch because I have a lifetime deal. Keyword.com because I like it. It's fast. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other recommendations, let me know. All right, uh, so that's it for today. Um, if you guys like today's episode, please just comment WordPress plugins for SEO for the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe, please, for me to show up on a Saturday. I think I might be the only person doing this every day in the SEO industry. I have to be, right? That's fucking crazy. Anyways, um, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.